Jonathan's ex chief of staff of army staff, a Hedrick card, joins APC. Former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Azubuike Ihejirika has formally joined the APC in Abia State. Azubuike served as a chief of army staff for four years under ex-president Kulok Jonathan and handed over to immediate past chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Burutai, following his retirement from military service. The former army chief was received on Friday by the UBC governor and chairman of APC, Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, Mai Malabuni. What are these titles? <laughs> Director General and Press Media Affairs to Buni Maman Mohammed in a statement on Friday said, Jen Ihejirika was formally presented to the chairman by the Jigawa State Governor and Chairman APC Strategy and Contact Committee, Alaji Abubakar Badaru and Honorable Farouk Adamu Aliu. He quoted the governor saying that the coming of General Ihejirika will increase the fortunes of the party in Abia State and the Southeast generally. This is a great moment for the party as General Ihejirika and other sons and daughters of the region are coming to the party to deliver the region and bring the south east closer to the center. We look forward to more of APC presence in the southeast. There have been speculation that the former chief army had concluded plans to vie for the governorship seat of Abia State in the 2023 general elections. <laughs> so what should we do? What we should do is that anybody or any soul from PDP or APC that has any connection with PDP or APC will not be voted for. That's why, I mean, to be honest, what do you expect? I mean, these people are already planning 2023 and we ourselves are not planning on how to overthrow the elections. That's a whole different thing because if APC or PDP person gets into government or anyone who was working for APC or working for PDP or whatever, any part that has any relation to APC or PDP, will not be allowed to vote. I mean, the, that's the thing. We are not planning. We're sleeping while these people are, are planning on how to sell us, to literally sell us and destroy the country even more. So, yeah, I mean, because he chief of army staff to President Gullah Jonathan, now he's transferring. I mean, what do we expect? Let's say the comments here. Someone says, not where they will help to build the country, but where they'll be looting and enriching themselves. Exactly. Ihe Jirika wants to become governor at all costs. I remember he couldn't achieve his ambitions of becoming a governor because APC accused him of sponsoring terrorism. And now the same APC is welcoming him into their fold. Ihe Jirika, your own have finished. Now you drown in your own stupidity. And I think, for example, I don't know if this person, what this person is saying is right or not. But I feel like, I think that, you know, when when people like these are coming to go for, you know, political power positions and all that we will bring out their history we would bring out how they've been hypocrites and all that but the thing is is the same nigeria we're in we need to take power into our hands because the fact is you'd be surprised that nigerians will still go and vote for the same person this is a Jericho person um I, I don't i i mean someone here says um this news is needless in nigeria where we have people like Atiku dino Starke, and many of them how come changing party has become an issue? It's not become an issue. It's a norm. <laughs> Who said it's an issue? I mean, it's not an issue for the people, especially if the Nigerian people are putting up with it. I mean, do they? if they don't see it as an issue, then they would never really fight against it or, you know, question everything. I mean, so it's not an issue. It's, it's a norm. It's a culture. It's what's expected, especially as apparently elections in 2023 and then people are thinking of these now. Fam, we're even supporting them in, you know, not even doing their jobs. Because technically, they had four years is actually too small for them to do anything. It is because when they come in, they'll be celebrating their success as, you know, um, for the first half, they'll celebrate their success as um, the ruling party. And then the, the other half is to plan how they can remain or, you know, change faces change the faces so the people can think it's a whole different thing when really and truly it's basically one party that's ruling the country 
Someone says you guys have not seen anything. The same hair jerker that got covered by um, Governor Goodluck after the extrajudicial killing in the North before the full-blown Buhari madness now has pitched tent with Buhari and Northern cabals. Don't worry, everything will be clear by 2023. Even those claiming independence are dictators on your behalf. You would see their true color come late 2022, early 2023. May God keep us all, especially the innocents. So then what should now happen? I don't understand. This person is like giving prophecies and all that. What are we going to do? Because it's like, what's the plan? Is The plan is that we're going to sit down and just watch. Because that seems a bit, yeah. So can we say Nigeria's former chief of staff, I mean staff, instead of attaching them to the person in power? But that's the thing, because they're useless, because they have no legacy, because they've not done anything, and they're not at the forefront of corruption, we have to link them to good luck or somebody. Because to be honest, who knew Ihe Jirika? Like, fam, no one knew, no one knew his name. But then again, you have to attach, in the same way they would attach Buhari's aides to Buhari, they would do the same. Some say it's true he has joined APC due to hunger, but he didn't hand over to Burtai. He handed over to General Minima from somewhere. Um, let's keep hating ourselves. This ruling class don't know anything about the cult, cult hatred in the dictionary, but only the time they mistakenly use or remember the existence of the word is when they want to keep hating, when they want us to keep hating and fighting each other to divert our attention away from their interest and that of their family today Femi Fanny Kaide is busy romancing APC to be honest they're just switching parties to make it seem like I said oh there's competition or that it's one party ruling and it's basically APC and PDP I mean it's it's not even one party ruling it's one region ruling because it's like it's the northern part of the country that has more power looking at the history of the country the south has to beg and romance the the northern northern you know northern elites for votes and all that i mean look at Tinubu donating so much money i mean with the power and influence that you know people think he has or i or i thought he had he still has to go to the north and still you know dress in the attire performative performative support performative activism and all that just to get votes it's still is but then what are nigerians going to do about it i think that's the question we need to ask because at this point we're just all self so selfish that we're refusing to go and you know fight for what is ours because we don't value ourselves we hate ourselves that it, it's really it really does show that because nigerians are willing to be miserable than uncomfortable no one is doing anything and then we're in this useless cycle of just talking and talking and talking with inactivity these news will continue because at the end of the day can you even trust the media and all that because at the end of the day it seems like as if the, the media has has a huge role in basically giving us this news formulating it like a gist in a gist or in a gossip kind of way. So it's like they basically are dishing us the news for us to just have a conversation and a conversation only. And that has been their style. We need to change that because if we're not going to do anything about it, then why are we commenting? We should just all go and sit down and just look because nothing is happening. And the fact is that we're, we're so against ourselves that even if we try to implement change, there will be some enemies of progress that would push us back. So it's like we need to decide what we want so we can literally separate them and not hold hold ourselves back because of what because of the actions and the docility or what the 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 the, the non lack of proactiveness i mean from other parts of nigeria please put away thing i don't forget to like and subscribe